<laughs> anyway, now, I head back out to Gadidia Park now uh, because our man on the spot is Billy Brownless. Now, Billy, you've got a very special guest with you. Uh, yes. Well, we've already anointed him as possibly the best AFL captain ever. Now, Billy, this is your opportunity to create the story of the day. Everyone is sitting back in the office at the yes. Age, the Herald Sun, Fox Sports, you name it, mate. Uh, the Nine Newsroom. Tom Brown's there at Channel 7. He's yeah. waiting for this. Okay. Righto. What do you got for us? Well, here he is, the uh, four-time Premiership player, but also captain now, and he should be knighted. So we're going to call him Sir Joel. That's how we're going with it. Because here he is, Joel Selwood. Well done Great yesterday. Job. But run us through your day, Joel, because what a day you had. Of course, uh, carrying <laughs> Levi through the banner. How, how did that all go? And, and, and Gary Jr., did he talk to you or did you talk to Gary? Uh, it was a special day, Bill. Got rid of Brit in the morning at yeah. 9 o'clock. She went and had her hair done. Uh, There's Brit. She to, just uh, walked out. Watch out. We had a... Uh, uh, and then we got to the ground. And, mate, to be honest, felt really good all day and uh, ready to go. But spoke to Gaz earlier in the week to... Uh, see if we could uh, manage to get things going and um, I probably was a little bit uh, loose with my words with uh, SENWA and should have dropped it on the rush hour are you telling me exactly right <laughs> or channel 9 of course so yeah. then you do that which is magnificent gesture then the first quarter you have 12 in the first quarter you're on fire yeah started on the bench and felt yeah I felt really good got into the game early it doesn't always happen like that so if it's finding you you, you make sure you keep getting after it but I mean, we were able to put a score on the board too, kick goals early, put them under pressure, and um, yeah, they probably tried to create a little bit more early. Yep, and then you kick the goal, the banana goal from about 40 metres, one of the great goals. A bit further out than that, comes <laughs> Sorry, 55. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I've, I haven't kicked one like that before. No. Um, 355 games in and not one like that. So uh, happy to usually palm that one off to the Tomahawk, but went straight over his head. Yeah, and then you get the Oz kickers up there and you give away your boots. Yeah, I had a, I had a spare pair on the uh, bench. So I um, I usually go through a couple of games, keep the boots tight. And um, uh, young Archie's the, well, he's the Oz kicker of the year for yeah. this year coming up. and. Uh, <laughs> He'll grow into them one day, I hope. Right. They'll, be out, they'll be a bit out of touch, right. but anyway. What a day for this man, of course. And, Tony, you have a question for Joel? Yes, I do, what William. You got, Thank Tony? you very much. OK, Joel, I know you're waiting for it, so I'm just going to come out with it now. Joel, will you continue you this got? stellar and decorated career next season? Oh. Is, is he really going no, no, there? He's going there. <laughs> I told him not to go there and he's going there. He's going there. He's going there. Oh, my God. Yeah. We've just won a grand final and that's a question <laughs> that I get. That's a pretty poor question, I think. Yes, we're going to ask Britt. Britt, should he go on next year, Britt? Ah, oh, good work. See, yes, she's the boss over there. But uh, how, you feel good? You're looking good? Yeah, I do. When I will you good. make a decision on that? Oh, look, we'll talk throughout the week with the club and, um, yeah, I mean... There's a bit to go through. I'll, I'll speak with people that, you know, have been watching me and seeing how I've been going too. So uh, it's not just a decision to myself. Uh, I'll tell you, it was emotional last night. Marie, Mum, wasn't she oh, yeah. emotional? Yeah, I couldn't too believe much, it. Nearly. Uh, uh, she's enjoyed it. She's uh, enjoyed the day yesterday and um, I think she was pretty proud. And also your best mate, Tomahawk. I reckon he's still crying. He, he <laughs> cried for about five hours. Well, he's got a bit of... Yeah. He's got a little bit of an excuse. He's got the kids, obviously, so they set him off a little bit. But, um, yeah, during that last quarter, he was a mess. So uh, he, he got through the game, but uh, even last night, he was yeah, still lost it. Exactly. Uh, congratulations, hey, Joel. Congratulations. 72 points up, 12 goals up at three-quarter time. You would have enjoyed the last quarter. What was your three-quarter time speech to the boys? Uh, to be honest, I was lucky that I've been there before where a grand final's um, probably iced and I, I just said to the boys that it's really important to finish this last 30 minutes because you always, you do remember it. Um, so in 2007 it was similar. Uh, I got that same message and it, it rung through that uh, we should do the same thing. Joel, I know that you've never ever once made anything about yourself at that footy club, but now that you've uh, woken up as, as a premiership captain and a four-time premiership player, but with the, the C beside your name coming against the fourth one, how's that feel right now? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've had the question a bit over the last 24 hours. Um, still not sure how to answer it. It's, um, 
it won't sink in for a while yet, I don't think, Damo, but it's um, obviously something that I love coming to work. Um, the guys that I come to work with, uh, the staff, uh, it's been, it, yeah, to be honest, it's been an honour just to come into this footy club this year and just uh, get to work with, and the way that we've gone about it. I'm just sitting on a cloud at the moment. And Joel, to think that you were belted, belted off the park by Melbourne in a prelim last year and then you know, 12 months on to do what you did yesterday, have you, have you taken time to reflect on how much you've grown as a playing group, the depth of the group and, and just the coaching staff? What a, what a transformation in 12 months. Yeah, I mean, it is. We were still, um, you know, I get a little bit defensive because we, we, we were going OK. We were missing our best player, Tom Stewart, last year at that time. And, um, you know, we had guys not going as well as of what they were, obviously, this year. But to be honest, Lordo, we, we, we've had eight, nine guys improve all at once. And uh, you don't usually get that. And that's credit to the boys that have gone to work um, and work on their game. And, you know, we set it up so they can do that. But it's, it's over to them, really. You've won 73% of the games that you played in, Joel. Uh, no one at any footy club has, has done that, really. And they often rebuild at times when you think like they need to. But Geelong have never done that. How instrumental have you been in messaging to the club that we're not going to go down that path? It's not going to be a rebuild. We're going to be in it each and every year because it's been phenomenal. Yeah, I mean, been really lucky. I mean, obviously having a key forward, uh, key post at home that um, you could sort of build a side around and then Harry Taylor for many years too down back. Um, so we sort of had the pillars set up if we could just put players around it. Um, at times we could probably continue to pushing on and having a crack at it each year. So um, I, I feel fortunate that the club were brave enough to have a go at it um, every year. And at times we just haven't been health, healthy enough or been in that right position, but um, it was nice to get it done yesterday. Now, Joel, I know you were so thrilled with my first question, so I've got another one for you here. Um, That's uh, good. Was... I'm, lo I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> <laughs> no, you will, actually, because it was a beautiful moment, not only with yeah. Levi at the start, but also to share the premiership with Sammy. Yeah, yeah, I, I know he is a favourite of a lot. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Sammy's been a part of our uh, footy department for a long while. He's in our cat's, depart um, cat's shop there for a little while and we had to bring him across to the footy department. He spends a day a week, sometimes two, if the cameras are out. He loves the cameras. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, we just we allow him in. And, and to be honest, he's a pleasure to have around the footy club. Yeah, it was beautiful. All right, Bill, wrap it up, mate. Hey, well done. Well done, Skipper. You've been outstanding all year. Enjoy your day. I'll tell you what, they're starting to build now. Yeah, cameraman, uh, speaking of cranky cameraman, uh, I've got one here. No, no, he's a good fella. But look at that, they're starting to build now. And, of course, the presentation to the players, including the Skipper, will be on about 12 o'clock, 12-ish, down here at St Mary's. But, Sir, Sir Joel... Who's this? Oh, I think it's a bet. One of eight, nine or ten. <laughs> One of Eddie's. Yeah, yeah lo he's got lots of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good work, Joel. You've been outstanding, mate. Thanks, Kyle. We love you down here at Geelong. Good Very boy. Good. Yeah. <laughs> go, Cats. There you go. Premiership sealed with a kiss. Joel Selwood. Uh, still not getting any closer to an answer, are we? No. no. You try. About the team. About hmm? the team. He was never going to make that moment. Whatever it comes in the form of, whether he goes on or mm. quits, so, uh, anywhere near the goal. So we had to ask. So of course he, he did. He won yeah. his first three in his, was he his first? Well, he lost 2008 in his second season, yeah. but yeah, he won the first oh, seven, yeah, nine yeah, and seven, 11 were the wins, yeah. but they lost to Hawthorne in, in 08. Yeah. Okay, uh, he's an out-and-out champion, no doubt about that.